Jake really set the tone. Uh, Jackson getting a big three-run homer, and then he got it in. It kind of uh, uh, helped Jake uh, execute some more pitches, a little easier for him, um, and gave him a little wiggle room not to make too many mistakes. And I thought he did a great job going pitch to pitch. Okay, questions? Raise your hand. Jacob Hunter with the Oklahoma. Jake, you faced these guys a week ago. What was different for you? What did you feel worked well tonight? Uh, I thought I had the slider working a little bit better tonight. Um, but, I mean, overall, stuck with the same approach, you know, just trying to go one pitch at a time and really attack hitters. And, Skip, what did you see from Jake? You mentioned just he set the tone, but what did you see? I thought he was himself uh, more so, wasn't trying too hard, more of executing pitches, uh, th just going with the game plan of what he does with his strengths and, uh, uh, and you know, locating his fastball, keeping those guys off balance because they're a really good offense. And uh, uh, they're uh, – uh, can you turn my phone off over? Here, you can hand it to me. I'll turn it off. But uh, uh, that's great. Thank you. Good Lord. I know where it's at. Somewhere in one of these pockets. You can find it, Eric. But, uh, yeah, I thought he was – he stuck with his game plan. He stuck with his strengths. Um, and that's the biggest thing that I, th I thought he did really well tonight. Over here? Yeah, Coach, uh, I don't think we talked about it yesterday, but I don't think you had any walks uh, against West Virginia today. I don't think you had any until the seventh, and you already had that big lead. How much does that help you guys? Well, you know, early in the year was uh, – um, we wouldn't walk in anybody, and we're giving up a ton of hits. And you just got to keep with the approach of, you know, letting those guys earn their way on because hitting's hard at times. And so uh, uh, I think we get out of that and try to get away from swinging, uh, making them swing and miss. If you could throw 27 pitches in a game, would you? That's a question. Yeah, everybody says that, but they love the strikeout and they get in, they get in the game and they want to strike the guy out. And so they over, they try really hard. And when you try in this game, you fail. And uh, um, unfortunately, that's what happens. And with him, he stuck with his game plan, just executing one pitch at a time and trying to stay in the moment as much as he could. Uh, Don Williams from Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Jake, you, you said a moment ago your slider was working well. I was noting at least a velo on the scoreboard. I think I jotted down seven of your first eight strikeouts. It showed 93, 94, 95. Was that setting up your slider for later in the game or not? Uh, I mean, absolutely. I like to pitch off my fastball, um, really try and get ahead with it, and then uh, just kind of go to my secondary. And we also noticed at least once in the inning, uh, once later in the game, like sixth or seventh between innings, you're out in the right, out in the right field throwing in the bullpen, right? Mm -hmm. How often do you do that? What was the reason why? Uh, well, I mean, our hitters had a good inning going, so I just wanted to keep my arm hot and uh, went down there to play some catch. What else? Carlos Silva, Lubbock Avalanche Journal. Jackson, coach had mentioned it, but w what were you looking for on that home run that you had? And I guess when you kind of watched, I guess can you kind of just describe, uh, I guess, what you're looking for when you hit it and how it felt to get, get one out there? Um, I know that from watching other hitters that he was trying to establish the fastball early. Um, he beat me. Uh, I was late on a fastball, uh, fouled it up back. I'm like, uh, he's probably going to come back again since I showed that I was late. And tried to, he went two seam away, tried to bust me with the four seam, and I just reacted to it. I've been trying to stay short to the ball recently. I've been getting big at times, uh, just trying to let the ball get as deep as possible and react. Joe Healy, Baseball America. Um, Skip, what can you say about the consistency Jake's given you this year on the mound to, to really be able to build out a pitching plan around the idea that you're going to have somebody give you what he gives you week in, week out? I, well, I kind of get emotional about it because I know the work that he put in. And he's really a routine guy, and, and it's a credit to what he's done from when he's a freshman. He's like the poster child of our program in pitching. He came in, and his body changed. He kept staying with it, bit, was patient, kept working, and stayed with his routines. He's really routine-oriented, and that's why one reason why I wanted to give him seven days versus you know a short week, two weeks in a row. It's tough for those kids, especially you know even though he's a big, strong, physical guy. When you start seeing that, when they go into pro ball, they got to learn how to do it once every five days, and the, and that once every seven days they've been 
in college, you want to keep them on that routine, especially he, he knows exactly what he's going to do tomorrow, and then the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And that's what really he's uh, uh, honed into and, and trying to get better and better as he goes through it. And I still think he's going to continue to get grow and get better when he goes into pro ball. Jake, building off Joe's question, how far do you feel you've come? <clears throat> also gotten better and uh, you know, I credit that all to the coaching staff and our strength staff and I mean really everybody and Skip you you planned this out with the bullpen day yesterday and Jake going today could you have drawn it up any better um, no probably not I, I, I got a cowboy hat hat at home and I pull names out of it and try to figure out who's gonna pitch now but uh, uh, no you I mean that's you have to do it. Sometimes, sometimes you have to do that, and you have to take that chance. And and uh, uh, I thought, you know, our body of work going into the uh, this tournament was really good. So th that helped us to where we could make that decision. We didn't have to come in here, and win two or three games, or win one game, and and do that. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.